The Battle of CESIs fought near CESIs in June 1919 was a decisive battle in the Estonian War of Independence and the Latvian War of Independence. After heavy fighting Estonian forces repelled German attacks and went on full counter-attack. Background Latvia had declared independence in 1918, but was unable to stop the advance of the Red Army, resulting in the loss of Riga. The advance of the Red Latvian riflemen was stopped by the German 6th Reserve Corps. The Reserve Corps under General Rudiger von der Goltz consisted of the Baltische Landeswehr, the Freikorps Iron Division, and the Guard Reserve Division. The Latvian volunteers loyal to the provisional government were also placed under the command of the Baltische Landeswehr. On 16 April 1919, the Latvian government of Carlos Ullmanner was toppled by the Germans, who installed a puppet German provisional government of Latvia headed by Andreev Snedra. However, the Latvian brigade led by Janus Belodis remained passively under the German command. After recapturing Riga from the Red Army, the 6th Reserve Corps continued its advance north. At the same time, the 3rd Estonian Division, having pushed the Soviets out of South Estonia, was advancing into Latvia from the north. Estonia continued to recognize the Ulmanis government, and neither side was ready to back down. On 5 June, fighting started, with the Landeswehr capturing CESIs the following day. On June 10, with the mediation of the Allies a ceasefire was declared, but talks failed, and on 19 June fighting recommenced. Battle. On 19 June, fighting resumed with an Iron Division attack on the Estonian positions near Limbazi. At that time, the 3rd Estonian Division, including the 2nd Latvian CESI's regiment under Colonel Christianis Berkus, had 5,990 infantry and 125 cavalry. The pro-German forces had 5500-6300 infantry, 500-600 cavalry and a strong advantage in cannons, machine guns and mortars. German forces achieved some success under Limbazi, but were soon pushed back. The Landeswehr main attack started on 21 June, breaking through the positions of the 2nd Latvian CESI's regiment at the Rauna River. The situation became critical for the 3rd Estonian Division, but the German assault was stopped by three Estonian armor trains and the Kupajanov Partizan Battalion. The Landeswehr continued attacking at several parts of the front, and more Estonian forces joined the battle. After stopping the last German attacks, the Estonian forces started a full counter-attack on June 23, resulting in the recapture of CESIs. The German units started a general retreat toward Riga. Aftermath the Battle of CESIs was a decisive victory for Estonia against the pro-German forces. The 3rd Estonian Division continued their advance towards Riga. On 3 July, the Estonian forces were at the outskirts of the city. Estonia, Latvia and the pro-German provisional government of Latvia signed the ceasefire of Strasdumu Isar on the demand of the Entente. The armistice restored the Olmanis government in Riga. German forces were ordered to leave Latvia. The Baltic German Landeswehr was put under command of the Latvian government and sent to fight against the Red Army. However, to circumvent Entente's orders, many German soldiers instead of leaving, were incorporated into the West Russian Volunteer Army. Fighting in Latvia and Lithuania restarted in October and continued until December 1919. Estonia celebrates the anniversary of the battle as Victory Day, a national holiday.